Hey, what's up guys? So I'm here with another session. Uh, I'm going to call it Answers and Questions, uh, presented by Jeff Decker. He has asked me the question and he wants to know what are the five basic principles someone must follow uh, to achieve the best results if you're show prepping or if you're someone just looking to lose weight and get into a better overall condition. Today I'm going to break it down into two parts. Part one today, part two probably next weekend. Um, so today I'm going to use an example. I'm just going to say that we have a 35 year old male. He's around 60 pounds overweight. He's not active. He eats terrible. He'll eat out two times a day and he'll snack a couple times a day and it's on junk food. Okay. And he has a six year old daughter. Um, his child is at the age where she really wants to go outside and play with her dad. Uh, but dad is overweight. He can barely get off the couch with, for five minutes and do anything without running out of breath and just feeling like pure hell. Alright, so what I would tell this dad if he was to come to me looking for help on ways to get into better condition or, or lose weight so he can get outside and do things with his kid, I'm going to tell him the exact truth. As I try to always do to people, I don't want to beat around the bush on anything. The point needs to be sent out to the person and it needs to be direct. That way, they should not second guess the question. They shouldn't think they can do this or that and it's going to be okay. If you give them the direct information they need to, pro to progress, most of the time this person will take that information and they will run with it. And that's exactly, if you are taking anything from this video, that's what you should do. Don't second guess anything. Take the information, put it to work, watch the results come to you. So, with that said, this dad, as I told you, he's he don't do anything. He'll go to work, he'll come home, he'll sit on the couch, he'll drink beers, he'll eat junk food, and he'll watch TV all night long while his kid plays by herself. To me, that's not how things should be. Um, but anyway, that's not for me to judge this person in any way or judge you in any way. I'm just here to give you tips on what I think is going to help you out. The five basic principles. I don't even know if I have five. I'm going to probably end up stumped after three because these three are the top. All right, so one, this dad is not active as all, at all, as I mentioned. So the first thing you can do is just make an attempt to get outside with this kid, make an attempt to play with this kid, uh, whatever it may be. It's definitely beating the hell out of sitting on the couch after he gets off work and watching TV for four to five hours or longer and then going to bed. All right, so the first thing we do is be get active, go in the bedroom, play, go outside and play for, start off at 20 minutes. If you, if you're a dad that don't even have a kid and you want this to happen, just get outside and walk around your house for 20 minutes. Even 15 minutes, 12 minutes, 10 minutes, 5 minutes. Any of that is better than what you were doing with your ass sitting on the couch. That's principle one. Principle two, try to change up some of these eating habits you have. Uh, fast food may, be not, may not be something you can cut out immediately, but anything better than the option you had yesterday is going to help you out. You go to McDonald's, you're ordering two double cheeseburgers, a large fries, and a large Coke. Tomorrow, you if you need to go to McDonald's, go to McDonald's. Order a grilled chicken sandwich, get it plain, or with ketchup only, ketchup and pickles, ketchup, pickles, and onions. Uh, if you get the fries, but you didn't get the burger, that's still an overall better option than you had yesterday. You're going to have to follow me closely if you want to really get the benefits of this because it's going to seem stupid if I'm telling you to eat french fries but it's a slow process or it can be a slow process you don't have to jump into it head first get a diet coke instead of the regular coke if you get sweet tea get unsweet unsweet iced tea add you some Splenda to it add you sweet and low whatever it may be get it to the point to where you like it but still you're avoiding all that sugar um, for the junk food if you're eating candy bars at night time, candy, whatever it may be, switch that over. Have you a Fiber One bar? Have you a, a Laura bar? Have something outside of that candy bar. And again, it's just an overall better option than you had yesterday. These small changes will help you progress. They will start to bring your weight down. And once you get that process going, you can start to look online at what are some of the healthiest foods you can eat to help you lose that weight. There's plenty of forums out there. There's bodybuilding.com. If you want to pay a trainer 
to write you out a complete program. There's trainers out there. That's exactly what I do. I'm not pushing this on you saying that I'm going to be your trainer. I want to help you do this. I will help you do this. Uh, I'd like to help anyone out that's looking to really change their way of living. Uh, but I do have, you know, I do charge, but I'm just telling you right now from the get go that if you just want to get some basic tips, it's out there. Uh, a lot of good information out there, but a lot of false information out there too. So if you're looking for an overall meal plan of what you should follow, if it's probably, I'll go back to this again, it's probably still going to benefit you just based on how you were eating before. But if you're really looking to make changes, you need to have something drawn out for you personally based on your lifestyles, your activity levels, uh, your age, your weight. Just There's a lot of factors that go into it if you really want to have the program drawn up exactly for you. Uh, the third, uh, I'm going to say water intake. Water intake, a lot of people don't take in consideration what water can do for you. Uh, a lot, most people don't even drink 10 to 12 ounces a day, which is ridiculously low. Um, I tell everyone, shoot for a gallon a day. A gallon a day, if you're just starting out, is going to, it's going to seem insane and drastic. Uh, it's going to overwhelm you. Uh, if you're at 20 ounces a day, start out with a quarter gallon a day. Start out, you, you make it to the quarter gallon, go to a half gallon, you make it to the half, go to three quarter, you make it to three quarter, go to a full. Again, whatever you do today is better than when you were doing yesterday. Every little step is progression. Uh, step four, I'm going to say rest, or principle four I'll say is rest. Uh, but if you're someone who doesn't even get off the couch after work and all you do is watch TV, eat, and sleep, your rest is probably already there. Uh, but once you start to get active and you start to uh, really make changes in your life, uh, I'm going to say you need six, six hours of sleep a night. Some people don't get it. Some people can't get it. I don't even get six right now. I get around four and a half to five, and I know it's it's probably affecting my overall progression, but I understand that, and I but I know to get the most out of things I need to bump it up and at least get six hours. Uh, principle five, I'll just say stay consistent, stay driven, stay motivated. Find something that motivates you on a daily basis. It may be the simple fact of hanging up pictures in your house somewhere. If, take pictures of yourself, hang them up in places you see daily. If you, you've got a cabinet full of junk food, that's probably the leading cause that's got you overweight and got you in the condition you're in. Take a progression picture, your starting picks, print them off, post them up in four to five places throughout your house. If you hang one up in your cabinet where that junk food is, you open that up, the first thing you see is your overweight ass sitting there in that picture, and that's going to instantly remind you that's not how you want to be anymore. So that's going to try, probably help you avoid that junk food. Um, but consistency is the is a is a huge key uh, that. And what I mean by this is uh, it's not a four-day on, one-day off process. It's not four days where I'm going to eat healthier the fifth day. I'm going to eat like shit. It's a seven-day thing. It's a 24-hour-a-day thing if you really want to get the most out of it. But again, we're looking back here at the fact that this dad does nothing at all. So would four days over seven days benefit him? Yeah, it would in a big way. But imagine what seven days over four days could do. Uh, so this is just a, a quick tip video on, you know, what I think it could help a person out if they're inactive and just looking in to get into better, uh, overall condition and health. Uh, it's turned into about a 10 minute video again, but I apologize for this, but it, that goes back to me spitting out as much information as, that I can that, um, uh, could possibly help someone change their life, change the lifestyle. Live longer. You never know what could happen if you change your eating habits and, and just get on point with things. But uh, again, uh, thanks a lot, Jeff, for shooting these uh, questions out there. I'm happy to answer anything you may ask, though it, sometimes it's taken me a little while to get back to you. Uh, I really enjoy doing this. And, and again, uh, if we can change one person's uh, life or lifestyle, it's a job well done. Uh, everyone have a good week. Uh, stay driven. Stay committed. Peace.